Welcome back, everyone. We are here with a brand new week on the Cabral Concept. So happy you could join me here today for the Motivation and Mindset Monday to start the week off right. I can't wait to get into today's show. Hopefully, you're looking forward to learning how you can improve every area of your life because how we do anything is literally how we do everything. That is one of my favorite quotes. Every time that I want to take a shortcut, every time I want to just say, oh, I'll put that off till tomorrow, I really think about that quote because I say, well, this is a slippery slope, right? If I start to get a little bit weaker in this area, if I start to push off some of my responsibilities, that eventually is going to catch up with me. So today's show is all about the topic of discipline. But whenever I hear the word discipline, I almost think about it in a negative way. I think about like being disciplined or someone disciplining someone else, but that's actually not the case at all. It's a connotation, it's a way that we think about that word, but the word discipline can actually be quite positive. And I wanna leave you with two main quotes here today that's gonna carry us through the entire episode and allow you to get more disciplined in your own life. I really believe that discipline is what allows people to accomplish all of the goals they set for themselves, not willpower. So what I wanna share with you is this, I really don't believe that willpower will allow you to accomplish any of your goals. And the reason is that willpower Well, it's fickle, right? It's high, sometimes it's low. But even on a good day, like how much willpower do you have, right? You have willpower maybe for getting in a workout. You have willpower for maybe getting some work done. You have willpower for a little bit of study you were going to do. But it's not an enormous amount. We all have a finite uh, amount of willpower that we can actually put to good use in our life. So what I want to share with you is this. It's a different concept that we can just, hey, if we have willpower that day, great. If we don't, honestly, it doesn't matter. But we all want to accomplish our goals. So if we want to accomplish our goals and we know willpower is not going to be there every single day, how do we actually make it happen? Two great quotes for you right here. Amateurs make decisions and take actions based on how they feel. Professionals make decisions and take actions based on their commitments. And what I would say is your commitments are actually a product of your discipline. Because if you are disciplined, you are going to be someone that says, sure, I'll make that commitment because I'm going to follow through. Many people are afraid of making commitments. Think about it to yourself. Are you someone that is hesitant about making commitments? If you are, it could be a self-confidence issue. There's no doubt about that. Again, there's no shame in that at all. Or it could be that you don't know that you're going to be able to make it happen because of discipline. So let me repeat that one one more time. Amateurs make decisions and take actions based on how they feel that day, based on just how they feel, like, ah, maybe I will, maybe I won't. Professionals make decisions and take action based on their commitments, and I would even say goals. If you have a goal and you need to accomplish it because you have a big why, and I've been talking about that big why over the last couple of weeks, you're going to make it happen. You're going to do it, right? Because you set your commitments to make it happen. Now I want to share with you one more quote as we dive into today's show. When motivation lacks, let discipline drive you through the day. Or another way to say it is when willpower lacks, Let discipline drive you through the day. And I'm telling you right now, that's the way it is for all of us. I will wake up one day, maybe my sleep wasn't as good, maybe I stayed up later than I should, maybe I ate something that wasn't as good for my body or didn't agree with me for a food sensitivity, whatever it might be, I wake up, I don't have that same level of energy. So what do I do? So my day has work, it has family, it has workouts, It has reading time, right? It has uh, my time with my wife. So it's like, what do I do with all those things? Am I like, oh, day's over. Day's over before it began because I woke up with a little less energy. Is that it? Like, is that how we do it? I don't have any willpower today. So no workout, no work, uh, no family time, none of those things. They're all done. I'm not going to read, not going to do anything. I'm taking the day off. Again, As I started the show, we have to be really careful with that. That is a dangerous, slippery slope. If we give ourselves that type of an out once, it's going to happen again. 
We do it twice, we're starting to create patterns here. Three times, our nervous system, our brain and our body, nervous system is our body, starts to get used to that. Oh, we have an out. Well, we didn't have energy today. So you start to oftentimes, subconsciously, have less and less energy. Now you have less and less to do in your life, but here's what happens. As we do less and less, again, our, our culture, our world tells us to do as little as possible. Uh, don't work too hard. Don't work too hard in relationships. Don't work too hard in your body. Don't work too hard in your health. Don't work too hard in your spirituality. Just relax. Take it easy. Well, again, I'm all about taking it easy. I think you should earn taking it easy, right? When you start to accomplish some of your goals and you're living the life that you want, yeah, take it a little bit easy, right? You've been working towards that. But I've just, sat, I've just found this, that most people who are taking it easy, after a while, they're not really enjoying life to the same degree. Why? They're letting the goals, the things that really matter in their life, relationships, career, travel, uh, uh, spirituality, their body, eventually they start to be like, oh, I wish I was in a little bit better shape. I wish I was in a little bit better health. I wish I was a little bit more spiritual, more connected. I wish my relationships were a little bit better, right? I wish my career was a little better. All of these things, they, then they have these regrets. So the living with regrets. So as I shared with you about three podcasts ago, and I hope that you tune into this one, it was one of our uh, more popular ones, episode 2264. StephenCabral.com forward slash 2264. Why you must choose your sacrifice. Please tune into that show. We choose it every day. We choose a little bit of a hardship to take action towards our goals, or we choose a life of regret. I've decided after the age of around 27, I would not live a life of regret. Turned my health around, got my energy back, changed my life. Right, changing uh, the tagline of this of this show still six years later is change your body, change your life. Why? So many people are trying to improve relationships, improve their uh, body transformation, improve their spirituality, improve their career, and yet they don't have any energy. They don't have the health to be able to carry them through that. So please do work on your health first if you need one place to start. I've found that it takes 12 to 16 weeks to turn people's life really around. So work on your health first, then you'll have the energy. You'll do, you'll do three, four times as much in a year when you have the natural energy in order to be able to do that. So what we need to look at is this. Willpower is going to wax and wane, highs and lows, good days and bad days. Some days you're like, I don't know why I can't get anything done. I'm just watching videos and on YouTube and social media all day long. Those days happen to everybody. I totally get it. Maybe not all day long, but you lose yourself for an hour or two. You don't have that same motivation. You have to understand is you're going to wake up on days and not want to work out. So what do you do? My recommendation is you still work out anyways. If you're tracking your uh, health biometrics, your recovery, your HRV, your sleep, all that, if it's not that great, okay, it might be a lighter workout that day. Now, if you're sick, okay, take the day off. Everybody gets sick. It's not an issue. But if you're just not feeling it that day, you still get to the gym, whether it's a home gym or your gym or whatever it is. You just don't go for a PR, a personal record, right? You don't go for your personal best. You're just getting in a workout. Why? Because you made a commitment to your health and to your body. Because that body and your health is what carries you through life. So you still do it anyways. Now, when you do that, that transform your mind as well. Your mind begins to understand, listen, there's no way out. We're doing this anyway. Why? Because we have goals that we've set for ourselves. Because we realize if we don't accomplish those goals, we're not going to be happy, right? And it's not even the accomplishment of the goal. It's the worthy goal that we're working towards. That's part of life's journey, right? Life's journey is set goals, move towards them, or no goals, well, kind of get drifted around in life. Those people, in my opinion, and also what I've seen in my practice are not quite as happy. People gain more energy when they have something to work towards. It's really, I mean, again, that's pretty uh, proven psychologically by now. Another thing too is you're, you're at work. Again, you don't have that energy. What you do is you begin to move through one task at a time. You just, oh, I have all these things to do. Okay, well, let's just choose one. Okay, first thing, good. Now that one's done. Second one, good. As you start to put those little, you know, you check the boxes, you start to get a little bit more motivation. Anytime I am not ready to teach, record, do a consultation, run a team meeting, whatever it might be, I just say, listen, 
I'm just going to get into it. I'm just going to start. I'm just going to begin because I know once I begin, as they say, it's all downhill from there. It's easy. It's an uphill battle until you get started. Once you get started, things flow. They really do. And then if they don't, okay, then it wasn't your day and that's all right. But at least you did make your commitment, right? You did actually undertake what you had set out to do. And this is why I shared with you not too, not too long ago on another Mindset and Motivation Monday that you need to throw away your to-do list. You really do. This is something I've shared with people. And, and again, this was, uh, I never know how people are going to respond, but this was responded to really well. Let me see if I can find it. And you know what? The best thing that you can do is if you're ever looking for a podcast, just literally ask the question at cabralsupportgroup.com. That's our private Facebook group. Michelle and other coaches in there are absolutely amazing. And they're going to be able to find that uh, for you. But I've got so many end procrastination and, and all these different things. So that's what I want you to do. Uh, you can even go to, again, stephencabral.com forward slash podcast. I want you to check out why you should throw away your to-do list. I literally do not have a to-do list anymore. It's gone. I used to have them. I, I mean, I had to-do lists for like 15 years, literally. Carry around pieces of paper. I had an index card in my pocket. Then I had like a professional checklist one and all sorts of different things. And then I had one on my computer for to-do lists. Gone completely gone. All I do is now work off of my iCal. It's on my laptop, my MacBook Pro, and it's on this phone right here. That's it. So I have everything for the day scheduled. This does two things, and I go much more in depth on why you need to throw your to-do list away. If it doesn't fit in the day, I can't do it. My to-do list were like 20 things long. I can't do all 20 of those things in a day. So then I would just feel bad at the end of the day that I didn't get everything done. My schedule, I know what I can accomplish for the day. It literally has everything in there. It has my uh, AM time for me. It has my AM time for my daughters, helping them get ready for school. It has my work. It has my lunch. It has my workouts in there. It has family time, when to be home at night. Like literally all of that's in there. Why? Because I want improvements in all of those areas. I want to be all in in all of those areas. If it's not scheduled, well, I could work out. I could work all day. If it's not scheduled, well, I could also uh, miss my workout. I could do all sorts of different things. I'll work through lunch if I literally don't ha have reminders in there because when I'm focused, I'm focused. Some people are like that. Others aren't. It doesn't matter as long as you have a schedule and you stick to the schedule, which is what discipline takes. You're going to get everything that you need to done. You can give yourself buffers, all sorts of things in there. But what I recommend is this, forget about willpower, start to work more and forget about motivation, start to work more towards actually scheduling, making commitments, but don't overcommit in the beginning, because if you overcommit, you're going to burn yourself out in the beginning. Make a couple of commitments to yourself. That's it. Maybe a workout a day or movement a day. It could be a walk. It could be a workout. Your choice, right? And then make just maybe like one more commitment in another area of your life that's important. Like for me, I'm home by you know, a certain time at night in order to have dinner with my family. And then I know when I'm home, I'm not checking my phone. But that's between the hours of essentially 5 to 5.30 and 7.30, 8 at night. That's all my daughter's time. That's their time. And I obviously see them before they go off to school. That's what I have. That's my ability right now with what I do. And then here's the interesting thing. Here's the nice thing. This is, this is what I think is great. So I'll get everything done Monday through Friday. Family, work, formulating, like literally everything. My, my podcasts, teaching, courses, uh, working with our integrative health practitioners. And then as I start to move towards Friday, Friday night, okay, uh, closing up the week, getting back to people, scheduling the next week. So it's already scheduled, it's done. Besides all the recurring things that are always the same time. But then I turn it all off. From Friday night, one of my, my, I've shared this before in the show, but one of my favorite things to do on Friday night is go to dinner. We go out once a week to dinner. One of my favorite things to do. I've told my wife that. I'm like, it means a lot to me. I literally said it to her because like, she's like, oh, well, the girls don't get home until 5.30 from, I don't know, like art class. Like who knows <laughs> what it was that Friday. It was just something that popped up. And I said, I said, totally understand. Now, honestly, no big deal. I'm happy to pick up 
takeout. I'm happy to start dinner. Like it was a later night. And I said, but I said to her, and this is why it's important that you actually talk with your spouse and partner. I said, I just want you to know that it may not make sense, but for me, I really enjoy going out to dinner Friday nights. Doesn't have to be fancy at all. We're not, you know, we're not going to a uh, Michelin restaurant on Friday night with my two daughters. I said, but what it does is it's not just going out for the food. It's not that at all because I can eat healthy. I can do whatever. It's the change of pace. It is the anchor that I set that when I go out to dinner, that is now turning off the Monday through Friday that we all have. My daughter's in school, my wife with her work and take care of her family and all that, myself with work, all those things. And then it's saying, hey, the Friday night, the next two days are ours as a family. I'm off. And that allows me to say, these are my discipline Monday through Friday. And now I have a relaxed weekend. Now, I did talk about just a week or two in the podcast. Again, all these podcasts are at stephencabral.com forward slash podcast, and you can search them. There's a little search box. But I did say, like, again, not for me anymore, but at certain times in your life, you might actually be working part of that weekend to work towards your big why. Because you have such a big why, and it has a time frame of maybe eight weeks, 12 weeks, whatever it might be, that you're working part of that weekend maybe towards that. Maybe. I, luckily, again, I had my time. I worked, <laughs> believe me, I worked uh, on the many, many weekends, many weekends for probably a decade. But now my main priority, my main focus is making sure that my daughters get as much time as they want. Probably like within a few hours into a day, they're like, okay, we're good. We're going to go do our own thing for a little bit, right? But at the same time, the weekends are now my time. And that's weighted more towards personal-based time. Now, could something creep in there from, from another part of life? Sure. I could go and do a workout. I could uh, do a work call, whatever it might be. But for the most part, no, the weekends are that time, and that's actually scheduled. The scheduled time on the weekend is family time, and it's much more relaxed-based time. So what I sh- why I share that with you is that everybody's schedule is different. You might look at my schedule like, I don't want that schedule at all. And that's totally fine. I totally understand that. What I want you to understand is that your time is your time. Yes, it's mixed with all sorts of family and work and all sorts of other priorities. But if you're waiting for motivation to strike, if you're waiting for willpower to carry you through the day, I just feel that you're never going to get the consistency that you need in order to accomplish the goals that will allow you to lead the life that you want. So I wanna go back to those two quotes I shared with you. Amateurs make decisions on how they feel. Professionals make decisions and take actions based on their commitments and their calendar all at. So when motivation lacks, let discipline drive you through the day. Hopefully today's show was helpful. Thank you so much for your support of the Cabral concept. I appreciate you. If the show was helpful, please do feel free to share it with anyone else you believe it could serve. Take care, everyone. 